Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my budget breakdown for paycheck number two for February. So yeah, I apologize that I didn't have a video for um, paycheck number one. It's because, yeah, hectic um, like mayhem uh, happened with work. So yeah, it was like the week prior to filing day. Um, so filing day was on the 9th and pretty much I was very busy from like the week prior um, till that Tuesday night um, so I apologize that I didn't have a video up and yeah pretty much we're just gonna start like like paycheck number one um, <laughs> happened and that's it um, so pretty much um, actually I should also mention that the tenant from like downstairs um, so my dad owns two apartments in this building and the tenants moved out on the 8th so then that means my brother will be moving in by the end of the month or pretty much like that um so i was actually not expecting them to move out until the third week um so yeah it threw me for a loop so you'll notice in my budget that i am below what i expected to be at um so yeah we're just gonna be talking about it i guess um so they moved out on the 8th so um pretty much what my dad um like Usually it it doesn't happen like that, but um, my dad's very like lenient towards like this since uh, my brother will be taking over the apartment. Um, so pretty much um, like it's like a day by day rate that they paid and whatever um, they didn't use. Um, so pretty much they paid my dad the full rent and whatever days they occupied the space. Um, my dad only kept that amount of money um, and then the rest was refunded to, or, or returned back to them plus the deposit so pretty much we had to, me and my brother would have to pay the difference um, for the rest of the month um, but the one crazy thing is um, honestly my brother's still living up here and I don't think it was fair that I had to pay a hundred dollars more but whatever at this point um, like I argued with my brother I'm like Ugh, this doesn't make any sense that I would have to pay a hundred dollars more when we're both living in the same area um same same um like house um until he moves out then i'll be like okay fine because right now i can't do anything with him still being here um if that makes sense so yeah it's just like a little frustrating um but anyway um so pretty much for maintenance i added three so this is paycheck number one i'm um, just talking about um so i did get one thousand eight hundred sixty dollars and forty cents so it was lower than um let's see this week um so my second paycheck in january so i had um 1008 oh gosh 1876 dollars and 38 cents um so it was six dollars um actually no 16 dollars less um that reason being is because i have health insurance um and they didn't start taking it out from this paycheck which i don't understand why um because i they did that for or like they um they put me in the plan in um end of December so I guess it's like um I guess they technically did it like a month late so that's why it started in February instead of January so um pretty much I saw the dip um and then I also signed up for the 401k for my job um I like delayed this and delayed this and delayed this um so you'll see another dip um in my paycheck but I was not expecting like like I was expecting a little more than like that dip, but yeah, it was not as much as I thought. It was like a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, so pretty much I haven't actually prepared this um or like my second paycheck budget um as much. So you'll see like all the numbers going like everywhere. Um, so pretty much I did make a category for maintenance. Um, or when I set this up or like the monthly budget. I totally forgot um, to mark out maintenance and then I forgot one category and I was like crap 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 um, and I already wrote the lines and at this point I'm just gonna be like okay maintenance will still be there but regardless um, and I didn't even mark it down in the back of the planner either so maintenance will happen in March where I will have it in the monthly view um, so pretty much that is that um, and then pretty much I added the regular amounts um, and then I also, oh, I still have to open my Lunar New Year's money. Um, I will have to do that after because there's this whole ritual you have to do um, in order to open it. Um, or like, so you can bring all the luck um, to you. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so pretty much I added all the same amounts. Um, I did have to pay my dog's um, 
license. Um, if you noticed my or watched my um, closing out budget, um, it was this one. So yeah, I paid forty-two fifty, and I just added the forty-two fifty because I was tired of looking at the five seventeen and fifty cents. Um, so yeah, um, I wanted a whole number for that, and of course my birds will start chirping when I really want to talk. Um, so yeah, they, when I recorded the voiceover, they were very quiet, and now they're just like chirp, chirp, chirp. Um, anyway, so then I also added um one hundred fifty dollars to emergency fund. Um, so this was pretty much like me reevaluating like how much money I should put to me money um, regardless so I did put $127 and I did bump up um, emergency fund so that it can actually like reach a goal or the goal by the end of the year um, so yeah that is pretty much that um, I stopped funding for food because I already have $157 haven't really bought food as much because my company is actually paying for um, like dinner and I usually eat dinner with my parents so I usually save the like um, I work late so pretty much um, if you work more than 11 hours you can buy dinner and then um, pretty much you don't have to tell them that you're eating it for lunch the next day so I mean I eat it for lunch the next day so regardless um, so anyway so that's why I haven't added to food money um, and then um, so as subscription I haven't been adding to that um, so yeah, and then work I also haven't been adding, but I actually went into the office um, on Valentine's Day, which, yeah, um, it was also the day after Super Bowl, um, and there was no one in the office, so it was quite funny. Um, so that was pretty much that. Um, I still have my brother's $500. He's not going to touch that um, regardless because, yeah, he's just going to keep that as his savings, um, which is very low. Um, so then for savings, I finally... Um, or not finally so close um, I still have $900 left to reach 30,000 but um, regardless um, so then I added 600 and then home I also added 400 so this 600 was addition to the 200 from my shop um, so yeah it was actually 400 and 400 from my paycheck and then 200 from my shop um, so I usually take home $200 regardless um, how much I make um, and everything gets else gets reinvested into my shop uh, and then Hong Kong haven't been putting money and phone as well um, so I actually m might need to buy a new Apple watch because it's kind of acting really wonky and my mom also needs to buy an Apple watch um, because she has the first ser um, series number one um, or series one gosh why did I say number one um and it's kind of funny because her screen I don't even know how she managed to do this but yeah her screen is literally popping out um and I'm like how did you do this? I don't understand how. How? Um, so, yeah. Um, so then this was the week of February 3rd to the 9th. And then this is the week of, oh gosh, February 10th to the 16th. And I shall write that down now. February 10th to the 16th. And then I should write down... Wow. Sorry, I was looking at it. <laughs> I just opened my phone and it's on Facebook. Um, Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers break up and call off engagement. Interesting. Um, I don't know why that popped up in my feed, um, regardless. So here I'm just going to quickly check uh, my paycheck for uh, my full-time job. So it is one thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars and fifty four cents so that was a hundred dollar um dip when um yeah i was expecting something different but yeah like much like two hundred dollars less than this so i'm actually very happy that it was this amount so then my brother also gives me twenty five dollars for his dog and this total shall be oh gosh sorry um one seven six four fifty four plus twenty five is one thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars and fifty four cents so I don't think I will be adding to me money um, with this amount um, so I'm just going to cross that out uh, so as food and then what else did I stop adding subscription and then work yeah those are the categories 
because um, so I'm actually going to be adding $300 um, or to each of savings and home so that's six hundred dollars and then 1874 is um, the interest that I get from my high yield savings account so um, I have an American Express high yield savings account and last year it was 0.4 percent and now it's 0.5 percent so it went up finally um, so like 2020 it was 0.5 as well or 0.55 um, so it's just like okay now they're finally going back up so I'm just going to write $618.74 that I added into my high yield savings account and like I like to keep um, whole numbers for like everything else so that's why um, savings usually get the interest uh, regardless so then um, yeah I think that is pretty much it oh and I should also mention that um, $390 is split in half so it's technically $780 and obviously when the tenant moved out like the week prior to what I expected um, I did have to pay my dad $553.70 um, which I'm a little salty about still um, so anyway so pretty much um, I did go below but obviously this is in my bank account so obviously um, like I'm not below anything that like would cause me like um, to have like um, what do you call it oh what is that fee called well well if they took like below if you go below like the minimum they t have a fee um, that gets taken out and then you go even below minimum so anyway so pretty much I have everything to buffer everything um, this amount out so yeah um, so I'm actually going to add the full amount plus the other amount, so that will be $943.70. Um, actually, and going back to my take home pay for my shop, I'm actually going to take a little more from, actually no, am I? I completely, see I did not prepare this for myself. Um, so actually, mm -hmm. because I wanna have $780 regardless, it's not the full amount of $780, It's um, like there's a cent to it um, so um, I'm trying to figure out if I should do that um, or keep it as like exact change um, for my dad um, because actually I don't know where I put my paper that says everything but regardless um, because this plus this amount would equal $780 um, decisions I think I'm just gonna take from my shop and then call it a day um so yeah um so then SGS I'm going to add continue adding the ten dollars clothing oh I have to add, give my mom thirty dollars so I'm going to mark it here so usually I my I go to an Asian hair so um like she's been cutting my hair since I was very young um so yeah I cut it really short um so and my hair naturally curls are like goes inward like and then it makes me look like even more of a baby face I already have a baby face and it's just like <laughs> why do I have to do these t things to myself where or like she does this where it like how she cuts it she cuts um, the front a little shorter than the back um, like for layering but I think I'm just gonna get an a like an a line trim so my front is a bit longer than the back and I won't have this problem where my front of my hair curls in like waves inward and then it just like cups my face and that looks like a I, I have a picture of me when I was a little kid and I look exactly alike but obviously much bigger um <laughs> so yeah it's quite funny um so then I'm going to add five dollars um to hair and I completely forgot about clothing and gifts so that both gets twenty dollars um travel gets twenty miscellaneous gets twenty and then Copa actually I might just put this um, as 20 so then yeah um, so then I don't have to take that much out from my shop um, and then Kion is 25 that is funded by my brother um, then emergency fund is 100 Japan um, is getting 20 entertainment I might I might take a pause for that um, so obviously like I'm a zero-based budgeter so um, the 
like the good thing about me is that I can sometimes take funds from my shop but I tr truly just stick to the 200 but um, with this like unbudgeted situation <laughs> um, like I just have to do what's best so I don't have like my head like oh my gosh <laughs> um like like a really big headache um so yeah then peloton will get 25 dollars um and i'm pretty sure that will be taken out um next week um so yeah and then 75 dollars for cpa then invisalign i am just going to add 50 dollars other is 20 and i don't add to my brothers and then family is also 20. so that is pretty much that um so then for the total here, or the ending balance, um, is $780. And then SGS is $150. And I usually don't need to use a calculator if it's like simple math. Um, so I apologize if you like to follow along with the calculator, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so $171.50 plus 20 is $191.50. And then $101.20. This 75 minus 30 is 45, 320, 740. And I'm trying to figure out my like office space um, situation and my room space situation as well. But with my brother still here, I can't do anything because his stuff is still in his room and I want to knock down the, like the wall between our both our rooms and um, because one it's like a screen like you know like the Asian like screens um <laughs> like I forgot what they're called like the bamboo screens um so yeah my cats like and there's like a little um a notch um like a hole just so my brother can have a little bit more light in his room because it's like dark and dingy and that's his choice to have a dark and digi room so um anyway so pretty much the cats think it's like a jungle gym between our rooms so and we also have a loft bed so it actually benefits them where they can jump through the hole and then go jumping back in through the hole um to my brother's bed um so yeah it's quite annoying because in the middle of the night randomly oh actually no before i also had that um so our feet or like our beds our heads are up uh, like our feet are like we're literally facing the wall and then um, our heads are here and I used to have a um, opening in, on top of my bed and um, let's just say my cats thought it was quite funny to jump on top of my bed and just scare the bejesus out of me um so yeah um I told once my dad was like I told my dad I was like no 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 this needs to close up um so pretty much we kind of like did um like a fencing like I don't know it's like something um from it's from Lowe's obviously but um like I can still have like natural light coming from the windows so pretty much yeah I was able to do that and I think I might do that for like in between our um or well it's not gonna be our room anymore it's gonna be my room <laughs> um so I want to build like a half wall instead um so I at least divide like my room area and um, I close off where my bed is so nothing will be like happening on my tables when my cats decide to like go berserko um so yeah anyway like I just went on a whole spiel for that but um I want to um let you know that I'm going to probably use the miscellaneous fund for that um like furniture shopping but I think I figured out like what I want but um or like how I want everything laid out but we shall see so then for Copa, I added $20 instead of $40, so that would be $580. Then Kion is $575. Emergency fund is $3,600. And then Me Money will get nothing, so that remains the same. Japan will get $20, so that would be $380. And then entertainment remains the same so as food 157.28 then peloton will be one one oh gosh seven seven twenty four um and then cpa will get 75 so that will be 650 um also uh, my parents think it's really funny or like they're really impressed that i can do quick math and then my mom tries to um 
argue with me um, saying that no that's not the right answer and I'm like mommy that is the right answer um, so yeah um, they try to argue with me when I come up with the answer first and then they were like and then five minutes later they realize oh it's right um, so yeah it takes them a long time um, even though they use like the abacus um, if you guys know what the abacus is uh, I should do a Google search abacus this thing they usually they used to do math on this um so i can do math in my head um if i was not an accountant i would probably be a math teacher and that's um if you guys watch um valentina maria um she's a math teacher um, i don't know which grade she teaches though but yeah um it's quite interesting so yeah anyway so um invisalign i'm going to add 50 dollars, so that'll make it 900 and honestly i don't know if I will get Invisalign this year um, I might just wait till next year and put this fund somewhere else um, for now and then subscription is getting nothing so it remains the same other is getting 20 so it will be to 90 honestly I should just bump it up to $30 but I shall do that next time and then family is getting 20 so it will be 91 25 work remains the same and then 500 so I'm going to total everything up in a little bit um, savings um, let's just do this real quick 29 195 37 plus 318 so that would be 29,514 dollars and 11 cents and then for home it will be 12,800 2000 for Hong Kong, 1500 for phone. And if I do get an Apple Watch, I will have to bump this up to 1700. So, um at this point, I'm going to once I f like make sure that uh, maintenance is taken care of um, a month ahead, I am good with that. Um so, yeah, right now it is a month ahead. So, I did pay February already, so this is for March and I honestly March, I will have three paychecks, um, if you noticed in my tr month or like the little yearly overview, I will have three paychecks in March, so I probably will add an additional 390, so yeah, i am probably use these same, oh actually no, not these same amounts, these same amounts, so then I will be ahead, um, regardless, um, so yeah, that is pretty much that, um, so, oh gosh, this plus 12,800 plus 3,500, which is $45,814.11. So that is that. Um, and then for this, um, I will have to add later on, but 1,000, or actually no, $943.70 plus Fifty-five plus, and I'm pretty sure my brother's coming home because my dog is barking. One twenty-five plus one seventy plus forty. And if you notice, like the amounts are like different. Um, I'm just condensing them, so I don't have to type so many times. So then it will be one thousand three hundred ninety-three dollars and seventy cents plus six hundred dollars actually not six hundred eighteen dollars um so it'll be one thousand nine hundred and seventy cents so i would need um let's see minus one seven eight nine fifty four so i would need two hundred and four dollars and sixteen cents I think I can make that work. Yeah, so I'll probably be taking double of what I made um, or from my shop. Um, so I can do that definitely. So $1,993.70. So that would make this zero base. So, oh gosh, the three, I wrote horrible. Um, so I'm just gonna rewrite that. So that is that, um, so I just need to add this amount. Um, so that's pretty much good. That's pretty good. Uh, 
So now for this, it would be, oh gosh, 10, 6, 9, 6, 23, plus 1, 3, 9, 3, 70, minus 30 is 12,000. Oh wait, nope. Yes. Oh gosh. $12,059.93. And that is correct. So yeah, that is pretty much my budget breakdown for my second paycheck of February. Um, and I did not make any transactions. So if you guys notice, like I don't really make that many transactions. And I've been actually waiting to purchase like um, scroll prints code kits because honestly, I still have a bunch, uh, like a lot of kits. So um, I've been writing down um, which kits exactly I really want. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait um, probably after, like probably in March um, to see if I want to purchase it or not. Um, so yeah, um, so that is pretty much the paycheck um, breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can um, comment down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.